Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all. My name is Quinlet. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. This week I've added my voice to the issue trending on social media concerning our beloved Minister Usinachi. I added my voice because I had a contact with her. We were supposed to do a collaboration together in the song Wind Blow. The song is on YouTube. If you type Quinlet music, Quinlet, watch the song. It will bless your life. Subscribe to the channel and share to others. Let's listen to her voice. I want to make a statement out of this voice. Let's listen to the late Osinachi's voice once again. Have you, have you, have you discussed uh, with my husband the song? And have you listened to the song? Not. Listen once again, please. Have you, have you, have you discussed uh, with my husband the song? So this was the time we were making the shadow for the collaboration. She was asking if we have decided, uh, we have spoken with the husband, or the husband has listened to the song, this wind blow song. I play this voice for a reason. The last time I played, some people said. It shows submission. Others said it sounds that the, the person is in fear. You can please judge it. If people are hypnotized, how do they behave? Because this week, the gender minister um, in Nigeria, Pauline Talon, minister, please forgive me if I didn't mention your name very well, visited the family of Osinachi, the husband's house, the late Osinachi, uh, the husband's house. And she said when she went, there were three people there, including the children, the friend of uh, Pastor Peter Wanchuku and their nanny and the children. And she said when she got there, the children didn't want to talk. She had the feeling that the children are so hypnotized that they shouldn't Talk about anything that happened in the house. She was there with the crew and she told them to excuse them. So they all went and it was left with the children. And she had to find a strategy to talk to the children so that they'll be able to open up. So she brought the children, the children are four, three boys and a girl. So she brought the children in a room and she brought them one after the other. And she was asking this question. Do you know, do you love your mommy? The first son, he said, yes. Has your mommy taught you to tell lies? He said, no. Is she alive or dead? He said, dead. You know that she's now an angel. And she's watching you. She will be very sad if you tell lies. And he said, okay. And the boy opened up. And he said, and she, uh, the, the, the minister said, the things that the boy said was so horrible to hear from such a little boy. The boy is just 12. The boy said sometimes his father will beat his mother. This woman will cry and cry and cry. Please, I'm not the one saying. Pauline Tallinn said it, the gender minister of Nigeria. And sometimes he will beat them with a very big belt and their mother dare not to say stop. Otherwise, the beating will be transferred to her. Then the second child also came. He is a very good singer. According to the gender minister, the boy sounds like an angel. He also shared his part. It was also horrible as well. They had their recordings and they said that is enough. The other children were also insisting to tell their stories. Children suffer in abusive marriages. Please share. Children suffer in abusive marriages. Here, in Germany, they will take them away from you. You are not supposed to care for them. You see people crying every now and then on the social media. My children have been taken. It doesn't start one day or they'll monitor you. And if they get confirmation from the, uh, from the children, that is, that, is it, that, that, that is it. 
they will take them away. There's one lady. She will go to work and work and work and work so many hours. And she comes home at night and the children will sleep very late. They monitor the children. They've been sleeping in the class. Not one day. They ask them and they confirm that their mother comes home so late and because uh, of that they go too, uh, too late uh, to bed and it affected their, 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 their education in the school. So when the, the teachers realized that they called the social welfare and they started mm -hmm. that investigation, they took the children away from her. Here in Europe, the slightest mistake that your child will be taken away from you because children are very important to them. And they think that if the children in abusive marriages and they start telling the public about what they are facing in their marriage, they need security. Anything can happen to the children, so they secure them. Don't die in silence. Please speak out. Another story. This story I'm talking about, those who are here, they know. Some years back, there is this woman and her husband in the same church. Abusive marriage. They went on separation. The woman remained in the church. The man left. Later, the man came to the church and told the pastors, yeah, I want to go together with my, with my wife. I want to go and visit her once again and see if we could come together and, and sort things out. The woman said, no, I know how you are. I will not allow you to come. The church tried, the church, they convinced the woman to accept it. And the woman said, okay, no problem. The day the man went there, he stabbed the woman to death. Please, if somebody suggests something to you, let your brain work. Add prayers. Whatever I'm doing here, I know what I have heard from the Lord. I'm not just doing what I'm doing. Because the impact this program is making, you have no idea. The messages I'm getting, the calls I'm getting, people sharing their problems. Go and read. Uh, uh, under, the, uh, under the comments in my previous videos, the experiences, the horrible experiences people are sharing, it will beat your imagination. That is why I'm saying that by the time I'm done with this particular program, lives will be saved. People will not die in abusive marriages again. This thing will not happen again. Because if you die, you might not get justice. Sometimes justice it's not for the death. Note that you have gifts. You need to affect your generation. You need to touch lives. Don't die and go away with them because people need you. Get up and speak. Talk to people. Open up. Let people know what you are going through. One woman said to me, I nearly jumped from a, a three-story building up to die because I had two children with different fathers and, they, and, and, and I was not in any of these marriages again because they all abused me and it was so shameful to me. People were mocking me here and there. I could not stand the shame in society so I wanted to end my life. And my children saw me that I wanted to jump and they said, Mama, you are watching us and you want to die? You have us. It is enough. The woman told me this and it was so emotional. Do you know what people are going through? Do you know what people are going through? Don't just consider me standing here. What I'm doing is not my doing. Don't watch me. I am one person. And tell me, come and say certain things. You know, sometimes out of jealousy and envy, people say all kinds of things. Think about the people that we are sending the message to. The thousands of people that will be saved. Not, not Queen Lit standing here. Not my YouTube channel. channel sorry. Not my Facebook page.